Now then, a bit of a midweek ramble. Uh, but I'll start off by saying happy every Wednesday, guys. So, um, what we're going to talk about in this this episode, as you might want to say, my New England IPA. Um, I've just had one. Give me a bit of air style on tasting notes. So, well, my smash. As you know, I'm in the smash competition. You probably know. I did version three, version one, fantastic. Blown away by it. Drunk all that, laughed that. Um, did version two, co infected. Did version three. Come to do the hard job to read in uh, and give a nice big dry up. But thank fuck I didn't put my bloody hops in because it was um, sort of fusty. Well, floaters on top. So I've got a clue what's going off. Not getting no big hop there or nothing. Hop aroma. So that's gone to clean the drain out earlier. So I'm a bit, a bit miffed about that. Um, so Easter weekend now. I think I'll um, be knocking some aisles together, some smashes together. But I think only about four weeks I need to be out the hub. You know, all bottled up. So pressure's on, I guess. Pressure's on. Um, I, th- I think I heard most, some folks not even starting there until May time. So all being well, we'll get something sent out still. So I'm still in it. Um, well, let's crack this fucker open, shall we? Oh, she was ready. Leave that there. Now, oh, where's my bloody phone? I don't know. Two minutes. Back. Just want to see if you can see the colour of that. It's hazy as can be. Embrace the haze, you know. Um, on camera, it looks slightly darker. I noticed that the other week when I did a review on Jake Spears, and it's slightly darker on this camera. But it's not. Trust me, it's not as dark. Massive hops coming through. You can smell them from here. Hops. I mean, I'll start off with the grain. Golden Promise, Maritotta, um, Wheat and Flaked Oats. Following the Brewdog New England IPA. Cloud water recipe, but I swapped the pear malt out for Golden Promise. I think it's a bloody lovely grain, that. And I've always got that in. Hops, Chinook, Amarillo, Victoria's Secret, Citra, Equinox, and Simcoe. About 260 grams worth. And funnily enough, one gram of Chinook was my bitter in that 10 minutes to go. So, Bordeaux. You know, and 10 minutes ago, that's my first hop edition. One lousy gram. Um, <laughs> I'll just follow in the recipe um, John Anderson put up. You know, John from 99, Ulysses 99. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. He'll let me know, hopefully. Um, it'll do me inspire me to do this, actually, because I saw Rusty give a great review. Um, and I went back and watched John's video on it. I think it's turned out slightly dark, if I can remember. And but like I said, I've just added a different mould and a couple of different hops, actually. Just what I add in, you know, they've still got that big tropical hit on the bloody profile, as most of these hops have now. So, anyway. It ain't all bad, let me tell you that. It's got a bitter bitterness to it. 
more bitterness I asked, than I actually wanted. Um, and say I only put one bloody gram in that ten minutes. It must have been from the big addition at Flame Art. I think about eighty grams at Flame Art, and I actually hot charged it two days in with some Victoria's Secret and Simcoe. And that was about another hundred grams, if I'm honest. I, th I, th I think. So while it fermented away, I hot charged it. I saw some online that some some geese are doing it in, in New Zealand, like. So I thought I'd give it a go. And then after fermentation, I dry hopped it again. You know, we were, I think about another 100, if I'm, sure, if I'm honest. Another Simcoe, Victoria's Secret, um, Citra and Equinox. So whether the hops been too long, what's going with that bitterness? Maybe. Um, so I think that's, that, there's a theory behind that, isn't there? That can happen. But you know, it ain't all bad, and I think I will send some out to some folk to get a review. I just saw Graham Hapless Ginger Brew. He he's just done a review on John Anderson's New England IPA as well, and he actually liked it. So the good hear what you guys think about that. Oh, but it'll do. I'll have a session on it this Easter weekend because. I ain't buying them, and I've got a shitload of that. And I've got a shitload of um, sweet coffee porter as well. Gotta love coffee porter. Um, what else? Summer gathering. London Craft Beer Festival. This is gonna be bang on. A lot of us are going uh, in the hot brewing community, as you know. Um, Everyone's posting updates on the BrewTube channel on Facebook with their tickets purchased and it's going to be a blast, isn't it, let's be honest. It's, you know, I think a lot of folks are stopping in the travel lodge as well. It's where me and I want to brew Chris are stopping, so if it's the same one, might all be at a party in the lobby till stupid o'clock in the morning. Who knows? Um, but it'll be good to meet up with everyone. I'll looking at Crew Wolf, uh, Mark Warburton. Well, congratulations to him. Just gone over the 200 subs, bless him. Very well deserves. Such a nice bloke he really is. Um, yeah, what I was saying, I think he's missed on tickets. On the train, well, on the beer vessel, but on the train, not £60 a turn. £30 each way, I think he said. So bang on. So I'm hopefully I'm going to try and sort some out myself. I've not bought my, bought my train tickets yet. I think about £100 if you if you do it online. But I think I'm going to brew Crystal telling me Virgin trains are cheaper. So we're going to look on there again. Either way though. Got months to pay off. Paid for it. And it's going to be a really, really good day. So... I was really proper looking forward to that, I really am. Yeah, so Easter weekend, they get some smash ales together. It's time to tick in now. Um, so that's about it. St. Badger, it's, it's going down all right. I did my, I went live the other night, clicked onto Rusty's, Rusty Homebrew, his. Sent a link because you're just doing a, like a live testing type thing on YouTube, see if it works. And I actually got involved in that, speaking to him. And then I think Big Banana come on, um, Homebrew Chris, he was there as well. Who oh, else there? Darren Winston, Zippy, he was there. Yeah, it was all good fun actually. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing that all over again. I think they're doing it this Friday night because. Rusty Homebrew, Arnold Brew Chris, Captain Crunchberry, if I say that right, um, and Big Banana, they all testing some double IPA from the States, which I look forward to viewing that. And then afterwards, they're doing the live link. So we'll get involved in that. Um, competition, you know, I'm running a double competition with Arnold Brew Chris. That's going really well. Got some great comments back, and uh, we'll pick the winner week on Wednesday. I think it is. 
Was it next Wednesday? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's next Wednesday. Um, so thank you for all the feedback on that. That's really good. And also to my new subscribers. Cheers. Really appreciate that. I think I'm about 2.15 now. People are coming to view my channel. Leave them to positive comments. Basically keep coming back and listening. You know, it's a pleasure, isn't it? It's a pleasure. Hazy as look. No pro to flop, nothing. That's what you want. First got a New England IPA. It's all right. Six, seven out of ten. Not one of the best, but we could play around with it and whack it up again. So, happy every Wednesday, guys. Have a great Easter. Um, we'll see you next week. Cheers.